Hey family, what's going on? I'm Caleb and we have got to get this thing started right, okay? Upstreet Online is the best place to be right now because we're going to celebrate. Oh, I, I kind of got my lip on that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh. <laughs> you have got to start a new school year off in the best way possible. And for me, this is it. <laughs> okay. So the start of school doesn't always make you wanna dance, but we're celebrating right now because this year, oh yeah, this year is gonna be the best year ever. I can just feel it. And all month, Upstreet is gonna tell you how to make it the best year ever. It can happen, trust me. So, let's do it. <laughs> let's break open this new year and get started. Here we go. Hey guys, I am super pumped you're hanging out with Upstreet today. This place, well, it really is one of the best places for you to be because we want for every single one of you to have the best year ever. Like every year. <laughs> we want every year to be better than the year before so every year can be the best year ever. It just keeps getting better or bester. <laughs> Maybe you're thinking that would be awesome, but Caleb, just exactly how do you have the best year ever? That's a great question. And I can answer it by going back to the first year ever. The beginning of everything, time, the world, humans, it all started with God. In the beginning, there was nothing but God. And then God just started creating everything. It was the most amazing display of creativity. And you can read all about it in the beginning of your Bible, the very beginning. <laughs> when God made light and dark, he made them out of nothing. Only God can make something out of nothing. Like he made light. <laughs> That's so crazy to think about. Talk about creativity. God divided the waters above and below put clouds in the sky and filled the oceans with water. God made mountains and valleys and deserts. And he even made trees like pine trees, palm trees, oak trees, banana trees. There's a lot of trees. He created flowers like uh, roses and tulips and daffodils. That's a fun one to say. God made animals like elephants. Those are some big animals. <laughs> Cheetahs, those are some fast animals. Aardvarks, <laughs> those are some kind of weird animals. <laughs> and otters, oh, those are some cute animals. <laughs> All those things made the earth, our world. Then he saved the best for last. Of all the things he created, God made people his most amazing creation. Of all the awesome things he made, people are most like him. In all of his creating, God had a plan in mind. He knew what he was doing from the very beginning. God made the very first people, a man named Adam and a woman named Eve, and placed them in a beautiful garden. Just imagine the best place ever, with the best food ever, with the best weather ever. Now multiply that best ever in your head by about a million. That's what this garden was like. God placed Adam and Eve in this perfect place with everything they could ever want or need because he loved them. God took care of them. Adam and Eve could have anything they wanted, go anywhere they wanted and do anything they wanted to do. There was just one rule. God told Adam and Eve not to eat the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. Maybe you're thinking, wow, that sounds like the best deal ever. Living in paradise, having everything I could ever want or need right at my fingertips with only one rule to follow? And you're right. To us, this does seem sort of like a no-brainer. But 
You see, instead of remembering God loved them and wanted what was best for them, Adam and Eve started to think maybe their way was better. They started to wonder if maybe they knew what was best. They started to look at the fruit on that one tree and wonder if maybe, just maybe, taking one bite wouldn't be that big of a deal. But remember, who made them? God did. And who placed them in this beautiful paradise? Again, God did. And who gave them everything they could ever want or need? Yep, God. But instead of remembering just how much God loved and cared for them, they forgot. They thought they knew how to have the best life ever on their own. Well, first, Eve took a bite of the fruit from that one tree, and then Adam did too. They disobeyed God's one rule when they forgot that God loves them and wants what's best for them. They broke the one rule God had given them, and that made God sad. They had chosen their own way, so they couldn't stay in the garden. Adam and Eve had to leave the perfect place God had created for them. But even though they'd messed up, God still loved them and was always with them and still only wanted what was best for them. And one day they would be with God again in the garden, but they would have to wait a long time. Did you know that God loves you just as much as he loved Adam and Eve? And just like he wanted what was best for them, he wants the same thing for you. God knows everything because he made everything. So if the one who made it all knows what's best for me, well then I'm gonna wanna do it. God wants you to have the best year ever, the best life ever. And he knows the best thing for you to help make that happen is him. But we can be just like Adam and Eve. Sometimes we forget just how much God loves us. And we wanna do our own things sometimes too. We wanna to go against what we know is the right thing to do, the thing God has asked us to do. But when we choose to follow God and live the way he wants us to live, that's how we live our best life ever. On the best day or the worst day, I want you to remember and maybe even say out loud to yourself, God loves me and wants what's best for me. When you're thinking about doing things your way instead of God's way, remember, God loves me and wants what's best for me. This is a brand new school year. It's like a brand new start. If you wanna have the best year ever, it starts with remembering that God loves me and wants what's best for me. Let's pray. God, thank you for reminding us today that you really want us to have the best year ever. When we're tempted to do things our own way, help us remember that you love us and want what's best for us. Thank you for loving us just the same, even when we mess up. We love you, God. Amen. Love deeply all. All love deeply. No. All under love deeply. Above all love deeply. That's it. Above all love each other deeply. First Peter four eight. Above all love each other deeply. First Peter four eight. Oh my heart